Now, we need to connect the two times table and the four times table. So every number that's in the four times table is also in the two times table. Every multiple of four is also a multiple of two. And to see why that is, on this top number line here, we can write out our two times table and then on this bottom number line, we can write our four times table. So with our two times table, counting in steps of two, we have two and then four, and the first multiple in our four times table is four. So two times two is the same as one times four. Now if we keep going with our two times table, next we have six and then eight. So four times two is eight, and two times four is also eight. You can see that in our two times table, we now have got an extra four counters, and we've got an extra four counters in our four times table as well. Carrying on counting in twos, we have 10 and then 12. So that's given us another four counters. If we keep counting in fours, the next multiple of four is 12. So 12 is six times two and three times four. Counting on in twos, we have 14 and then 16, and 16 is also the next multiple of four. So we've got four more counters up here, and of course with our four times table, we have four more counters here as well. And we can keep going, so 18 and then 20, 10 times two is 20, and five times four is also 20. Again, we have another four counters in both. Then 22 and 24, so 12 times two is 24, and six times four is also 24. Now, if we carry on with our four times table, next we have 28. And if we were to continue counting in twos past 24, we would also get to 28. Next, we would have 26, then 28. And if we carry on counting in fours, we have 32, 36, 40, 44, and 48. And it's important to understand that all of these numbers would also be in our two times table if we kept on counting in twos. Notice with the four times table, numbers always end in two, four, six, eight, or zero. So numbers in the four times table or multiples of four are always even numbers. And any even number is always in the two times table. Any even number is a multiple of two. Now we can see here, we've got our two times table written out and our four times table as well. Now notice, if we double what's in the two times table, we get what's in the four times table. Remember to double a number, we're adding the number to itself or multiplying it by two. So two times two is four, four times two is eight, six times two is 12, and so on. Or looking at it the other way, if we halve what's in the four times table, we get what's in the two times table. Remember, to halve or to find half of a number, we divide it by two. And four divided by two is two. Eight divided by two is four. Twelve divided by two is six, and so on. And that's why one times four gives us the same answer as two times two. Two times four is the same as four times two. Three times four is the same as six times two. Four times four is the same as eight times two. Five times four is the same as 10 times two. Six times four is the same as 12 times two. And all of our other multiples of four would also appear in the two times table if we carried on our two times table past 12 times two. 
Now, what we can show here on these first two number lines is our two times table, and then on this bottom number line, our four times table. So one times two is two, and if we show that twice, we have the same as one times four, because we have four counters all together. Two times two is four, but if we show that twice, we have two times four. Now, three times two is six, and if we show that twice, then we've shown three times four, because three times two is six, but if we show six counters twice, we've shown 12 counters altogether. Then four times two is eight, and four times four is 16. Five times two is 10, and five times four is 20. Six times two is 12, and six times four is 24. Seven times two is 14, and seven times four is 28. Eight times two is 16, and eight times four is 32, because double 16 is 32. Nine times two is 18, and nine times four is 36. 10 times two is 20, but if we double 20, we get 40, and that's why 10 times four is 40. Then 11 times two is 22, and 11 times four is 44, and 12 times two is 24, and if we double 24, we get 48. So that's 12 times four. So now we have our four times table on this top number line and our two times table below. Now, if we take half of these counters showing the four times table and get rid of half, you can see that what we have is our two times table. And that's why if we halve what's in the four times table, we get what's in the two times table. So half of four is two, half of eight is four, half of 12 is six, and so on. Now we can show our hundred square, and here we have our two times table highlighted. Now we can see the two times table on a hundred square makes a really obvious clear pattern. We have numbers that end in two, four, six, eight, or zero shaded in. But now let's show numbers in our four times table or multiples of four on our hundred square. Again, you can see that we get a pattern and you can also see that again, just like with the two times table, multiples of four always end in two, four, six, eight, or zero. So if a number ends in a one, three, five, seven, or nine, so if a number is an odd number, we know that it's not going to be in the four times table.